Let's go learn about kitchen and bathroom fire safety with our friends from the Burn Center at Jackson Memorial. Hey everybody, Louis DeRosa here. I'm the Outreach and Injury Prevention Coordinator at the Miami Burn Center at Jackson Memorial Hospital. Have you ever been burned or touched something really hot and it hurts so bad? Well, some of those burns have to be taken care of at the Miami Burn Center by specialized nurses, doctors, and techs. And let me tell you what the most dangerous rooms in the house are. Do you know what it is? The kitchen and the bathroom, all right? I'm gonna tell you a little secret though. Every time somebody gets burned in those two dangerous rooms, those burns can really be prevented. And to show you how to avoid getting burned, I brought my friends, including my special friend, Dorian De Armas. She's the burn nurse practitioner at the Miami Burn Center, and she's taking care of thousands of adults and children every single year. But here's a little tip. You have to listen very closely, all right? So kick back, relax, and let's learn not to get burned. Come on. Thanks, Louis. Hi, my name is Dorian Diarmas, and I'm a nurse practitioner at the Miami Burn Center. I take care of children every day that get burned. And I don't want you to get burned or have to come to my hospital. So I wanna teach you how to be safe in two of the most dangerous rooms in the house for burns, the kitchen and the bathroom. And believe it or not, the main reasons why, the two main reasons why children get burned in these rooms is because they're not listening. They're not listening when their parents say, don't run through the, the, through the house. I'm cooking hot chili on the stove. And also, they're not thinking. They're not thinking that perhaps if they go into the bathtub, the water might be still too hot and they might burn their feet. So it's really important that you're always listening and you're always thinking when you're in these two rooms of the house. So I have a question for you. What do you do when you see someone playing with fire? What was that? Exactly. You tell them to stop. Do you try to put the fire out yourself? No, you never try to grab the fire because what will happen if you try to put the fire out? Exactly. You'll get burned. So it's really important that if you see someone doing something that they should not be, it's okay to go find an adult and tell them because you don't want them to burn down your school or burn down a house or even burn themselves. So you wanna make sure that they stay safe. Well, I'm gonna need your help today with that. I have two children, two children of some friends of mine named Lulu and Jojo. And they don't always listen and they're not always thinking when they're in these two rooms in the house. So I need you to help me keep them safe. Can you do that? Perfect. But the first thing I need to do is make sure that you can yell stop as loud as you can, because that's the only way we're gonna get them to not get burned, right? All right, so on the count of three, I want you to yell stop as loud as you can. One, two, three. I don't know. My ears weren't quivering. That wasn't loud enough. Let's try it again. What do you do when you hear them? When you see them doing something wrong, that's right, you yell stop. So let's see how loud you can do that. On the count of three. One, two, three. All right, very good. So let's keep an eye on Jojo and Lulu. Keep them safe in that kitchen. Thanks. all of you yelling stop oh my goodness I can't believe it that Lulu and Jojo are already not listening they weren't listening when their dad said don't go near the coffee it's hot right they weren't 
thinking that if they pulled on the tablecloth that the hot coffee could fall on top of them and really give them a bad burn on their face. So dangerous. Well, let's give them a little break for now because there are some things that mom can do instead of using a tablecloth. Tablecloths are always nice for the holidays and they're really pretty. But when you have curious ones that don't think and don't listen, tablecloths aren't always the best thing. So what mom can use instead, placemats actually. Placemats are always so much better when you have little ones like Lulu and Jojo because that way they can't pull on the placemats and that hot coffee would never fall on their face. Also, best dad ever, good coffee mug, but it's not the best coffee mug because it doesn't have a lid on top. So what mom is using with the lid that has a lock, much safer. These are a lot of nice things, good things to think about. And I'm so proud of you for yelling stop and keeping Jojo and Lulu safe. Continue, keep up the good work. Continue to keep them safe in the kitchen. All right, keep watching. stop again oh what was happening I hear there's a lot of things but I think the two main things is that they weren't listening right they weren't listening when their dad told them the kitchen is a no kid zone right and they weren't thinking they weren't thinking that if they went near the stove and grabbed the handle that the hot chili would fall on top of them hmm we gotta continue to keep them safe. Let's see what happens next. Now remember, if you see them doing something wrong, make sure you yell stop as loud as you can. Keep up the good work. Daddy, what happened? No, 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 no. Guys. What happened? He's not feeding us, I'm hungry. The dolphins, so the dolphins were in the end zone. The dolphins almost got me. This is what I'm so short This is a no kid zone, no kid zone in the kitchen, okay? Three feet, three feet. Guys, this taco is so good. Oh my 
gosh, what's happening? What just happened? I'm hearing a lot going on. Hmm. I have a feeling I know what's going on. They weren't listening. Jojo and Lulu weren't listening when their dad and mom told them, stay away from the stove, it's hot. Wait for the food to get done. Don't play in the kitchen, it's no kid's zone. And they weren't thinking, they weren't thinking that if Jojo went up to get the Oreos on top of the hot stove, that his clothes would catch on fire. Especially those pajamas that he had. The loose material went right into the pot and he burned his whole chest. Hmm. And I also noticed that dad was trying to save the kitchen. So he started running with the hot pan. What happened when dad ran with the pan? Did the smoke start blowing on top of him or away from him? You're right. It started blowing on top of him. And that's why you never ever pick up a pan that's on fire. So what dad could have done instead is perhaps if the fire was smaller, just put a cover on top to try to smother the fire. Or he could have used one of these. Can anyone tell me what this is? If you said a fire extinguisher, you're right. This is a fire extinguisher. Do many of you have this in your home? If you don't, you should let mom and dad know it's always nice to have. You don't want to keep it too close to the stove, but if dad had this, he could have followed the easy steps on the canister and just did a sweeping motion to try to get the fire out. But this is only if the fire was small and controlled. One more thing that I did notice was that when Jojo and Lulu were trying to get a snack, the snacks were above the stove. Above the stove is never a place for snacks because of course there was lots of hot pots and pans on top of the stove. And even if there are pots and pans, maybe someone just finished cooking and you could put your hand right on top of a hot coil. So instead of placing snacks over the stove, it would be much safer if mom and dad placed the stacks on the side on the counter or in a cabinet just above. All right, Jojo and Lulu, I have some questions for you. Okay. Let's go over here to the microwave. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. So, well, I have a question for you too. How many of you use a microwave? Wow. So, so far we've got two here and I'm sure a lot of you over there do as well. Well, I want to teach you some microwave safety tips. Hmm, let's see what you got going on in your microwave. Oh, there's something in there. Yeah. Can you grab it for me? Yeah. Okay. okay, okay. Show me how you would take it out. Give me some too. Okay, no. Okay. Come on. No. No. Oh, oh, my and cheese. Uh, oh, whoa, whoa. What see? What happened was, if this would have been open and the microwave was ready, you would have been completely burned on top of your head. So you have to remember that the soup inside, or actually, let's see, the mac and cheese inside is hot, boiling hot, but the cup is not. So don't be duped by the soup. So whenever you're going to grab anything out of a microwave that's above your head, always ask an adult to help you. Because what happened? When you grabbed it, that boiling mac and cheese could have fallen right on top of your face. So don't be duped by that soup. Now, who can tell me what duped means? Okay, all right. Is you that wanna... like poop? No, oh. it's not like poop. It sounds like poop. Oh, yeah. silly. Can you tell me what dupe it's means? Somebody's tricking you. Oh. Exactly. It means don't be tricked by the soup. Oh. All right, you guys want to sing a little song with me? Yay. It's a quick song. Something to remember to be Yay. safe when you're using the microwave. Okay. All right, remember. I like the soup, soup is hot, but the cup <laughs> is not. So don't, don't be duped, duped by the soup. The soup is hot, but the cup is not. So don't be duped by the soup. All right, give yourself a round of applause. All right, you guys did a pretty good job keeping them safe in the kitchen. Let's see if we can just keep them safe in that bathroom. Okay, Jojo, we're gonna get you a nice shower. Yay. I'm gonna go to the park. I'm finishing Yay. up my dolphin game, okay? okay. Uh, what do you wanna wear? Uh, give me my jeans and my polo shirt. Okay, okay, cool, hey. cool, okay, all right. Um, yeah, and so what do you want to do at the park? Um, I want to go down the swings. All right. Yeah. 
Okay, I'll be right back, okay? okay I'm gonna right, finish right. watching the game, okay? okay. We're gonna take a nice right. shower, right? I'll be right back. Okay, Dad, okay. Okay. Oh no! Dolphins are winning. What's going on? Oh, I think I know what happened. Can you guys tell me what happened? I know exactly what happened. Jojo wasn't listening. He wasn't listening when his dad told him, don't go near the bathtub. It's really hot. I'm putting the hot water on first, right? And he wasn't thinking. He wasn't thinking that if he jumped into the bathtub with his friends, that his feet were gonna get burned because the water was so hot. Well, I have a few questions for you. How many of you take a bath or shower by yourself? Hmm, it's quite a bit. Well, I wanna ask you a question. What does the red knob mean? Or even just a red marker? Sometimes in a shower you might see a circle and in that circle you'll see red and blue. These handles are a little different, but what does red mean? hot that's right and what does the blue one mean cold exactly so i have a few questions for you when you're getting in the shower and getting ready to start that water what do you turn on first the hot water or the cold water if you said cold water you were right because what if you were standing in the cold water right you're standing in the tub and you could turn on the cold water and then you could put a little bit of the hot water on just to get it a little warmer, but you won't burn your feet while you're doing that. That was a good answer. Now, I have another question for you. When you're done with your bath or your shower and you're like, mommy, I need a towel, and you're shutting the water off, what do you shut off first? The hot water or the cold water? Let's think about that. If you said hot water, you're right, exactly. You shut the hot water off first. That way you don't burn your toes. And then you shut off the cold water. Good job. Way to keep Lulu and Jojo safe in the kitchen. Take care. Well, there was a lot going on in the kitchen and bathroom today, huh? I know that you guys really were trying hard to listen and really trying hard to think. And I must say, there was one thing that I noticed that you guys really did right. What? Hmm. What do you think that was? I think you know. It was stop, drop, and roll. Yeah. Exactly, because even though you know you were reaching over for that snack, when your clothes were on fire, you stopped, you covered your face, you dropped to the floor, and you rolled. Now, which way did you roll? Did you roll like a meatball? I think so. But you don't want to roll like a meatball. What's the best way to roll? Like, like a hot dog. Like a hot dog. And when do you stop rolling? When your fire is out. When the yeah. fire is out, when your clothes are no longer on fire. Excellent. All right, well, come on, let's stand up and demonstrate okay. to show them exactly what's the proper way to stop, drop, and roll. Okay. All right, Jojo, so you're gonna go first. So, say you're in the kitchen, and all of a sudden, you get a little fire on you. Oh my God, your clothes are on fire. Stop, cover your beautiful face, drop to the floor, and roll like a hot dog. Keep rolling, keep rolling. Good job, good job. All right, Jojo. All right, Lulu, your turn. Okay, so. All of a sudden, you're helping mommy and daddy cook, and your clothes are on fire. Ah, stop, cover your face, drop to the floor, roll like a hot dog, good girl, roll. Excellent, excellent. All right. Well, guess what? I got one more great song and a dance. Something for you all to remember. So everybody stand up. All right, I'm gonna get in the middle here. So, something to remember, when your clothes are on fire and it's out of control, you wanna stop, drop, and roll. You wanna roll, baby, roll. 
You want to roll, baby, roll. You can switch it up, too. When your clothes are on fire and it's out of control, you got to stop, drop, and roll. You got to roll, baby, roll. You got to roll, baby, roll. When your clothes are on fire and it's out of control, you got to stop, drop, and roll. Good job. Woo. What'd you guys think? You see, I told you, I told you that, you know, one of the tips was you had to listen, right? Anyways, on behalf of the Miami Burn Center and everybody behind the scenes, we hope that you learned not to burn, right? Very important. So I want you to go back home and tell your parents, right? Your parents need to learn this information as well. But I just want to introduce you to some of those fabulous actors, right? I'm going to each introduce you to each one of those actors, which are my friends and my colleagues at the Burn Center. And all of them are nurses, and they're just awesome people, and I'm going to introduce you right now. To start out with, the most important role was the dad. I don't know if you noticed that. Hey guys, I'm George Bolivar. I'm one of the trauma and burn nurses over at the Miami Burn Center. I hope you guys learned something, and I hope you had a great time. Stay safe, guys. Hello, everybody. I'm Natasha Pollard, and I'm also one of the nurses for the burn ICU and trauma ICU at the Miami Burn Center. I hope you learned and enjoyed it. Hi, guys. It's me again, Dorian Diarmas. I'm the nurse practitioner at the Miami Burn Center. And remember to always listen and always think when you're in the kitchen and the bathroom. Hi guys, my name is Gina Patino, known as Lulu. I'm a trauma resuscitation nurse here at the Miami Burn Center. So everyone just stay safe and listen to your parents. Thank you. <laughs>